Hello, I have not made a video for this channel in a while because I got tired of making those daily videos, but now that's over. Um, anyway, I'm just kind of, I uh, just wanted to turn the camera on and um, kind of talk about what I've been into lately. Not that anybody asked for it, but I'm doing it anyway because why not? I've really been into, uh, so I've been a, a sports card collector since I was in college. I wish I would have been into it when in high school, but you know, or younger, but I wasn't. And because I wasn't really a sports, so much a sports fan in uh, middle school, a little bit in high school, but. Um, I was always one of those people that, not a hoarder, but I would kind of just gather things up in groups. Um, and so, you know, those kind of people, we call ourselves collectors, uh, but might be a little bit of hoarding, but, um, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't like I, I couldn't walk through my room when I was a kid because I had too much stuff, but I would keep a lot of stuff in my closet, groups of things and you know, I would see something like, oh my God, I, I really should have that. And I should then get another one and get another one. You know, and not anything expensive, just cheap stuff or free stuff. Um, you know, like cans. I used to collect cans when I was a kid. Um, uh, like soda cans. Um, and not just any and all soda cans, but I really had a collection of various, of different things. Like a whole bunch of Coke cans, a whole bunch of Pepsi cans, all different. <clears throat> And uh, because actually back in the eighties, that was a that was kind of a viable thing, not money wise, wise, but collector wise, because they were really big in the eighties uh, with cans. Um, I I don't even have I have one or two left from when I was a kid, but not anymore. I just kind of got rid of them. Uh, but they would have cans with pictures on them. Uh, Pepsi was a good one because they had in the eighties. It was crazy. They had Pepsi Light. Um, Pepsi Free, uh, there was Crystal Pepsi in the 90s. I mean, there was, you know, just all the Pepsi went nuts and they had a lot of imagery on their cans for a while. And that was pretty cool. And then actually, when I was like in uh, a junior high, not really middle school, junior high, I would collect cans. And uh, at that point, cans, some cans were still steel with a pull top and they were, uh, can and soda makers were trying to, were starting to go into the the um uh you know pop top and not the pull tab uh so anyway i had a bunch of that stuff anyway that's not the point the point is that uh instead of collecting cans i wish i would have been collecting sports cards but again i wasn't into car into sports that much i got to college and then i really started uh collecting slash hoarding some things um i would just i was so excited because i had my own dorm room and then i was able to just keep stuff in it and i got into sports cards because of the collecting not because of being a sports fan i really didn't even know much about sports i knew very little uh some about football but anything else i didn't really know and then uh, I got into comic books, big time. Um, we'd buy comic books every week at the at a convenience store. They had those, the racks. They put the comic books in, so we'd go. And back then, comics were seventy five bucks a pop, and they didn't have twenty uh, alternate covers. They were just when a comic book came out, the comic book came out, and uh, so we would do that a lot. Anyway, but also at that time, I would start, start buying uh, sports cards uh, and collecting those. Um, but again, I wasn't a huge sports fan, and that was just kind of another thing to collect. And uh, anyway, my point that I'm trying to get to is I'm getting back into that lately. I'm not collecting anything new. Um, uh, more uh, the 80s and maybe 70s if I can if I can get it. Um, but the eighties, because that's when I, I grew up and, um, it's still reasonably cheap right now. 
I really think um, I've been amazed at some of the prices. The 80s were the uh, junk wax era, um, especially the mid to late 80s, where they produ overproduced because people like me were like, oh, this, I think this will be valuable someday. And they uh, just made a card set would come out and they made millions upon millions upon millions of these sets and they overproduced everything. Uh, and it's just, you know, you might as well just, uh, you know, burn your money because it wasn't, they weren't worth anything. But what I ha am noticing now is that a lot of the 80s stuff is starting to slightly go up in value. Um, you know, the major stars and uh, what I've been into lately are the packs. Um, I have a bunch of packs. Some is I bought back in the day and I saved. But a lot of it lately has been just buying old packs off of eBay. Um, I got this the other day. This is a uh, 1989 Topps football pack with Joe Montana on the front. It's been graded. That's why it's in this case. PSA graded uh, 9. I don't know how they grade packs. Uh, it seems kind of silly, but um, it's basically a stamp of approval that they haven't been tampered with. That's why you buy uh, graded uh, card packs. And uh, forgive my hair, I'm a little messy today. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> anyway, but I got a whole... <coughs> uh, I got more than this, a lot more than this, but I got a whole box. Uh, these are like 80s packs, uh, grocery packs, wax packs, uh, starting lineup, the foil packs. Uh, not starting lineup, excuse me, uh, upper deck sports packs. I really, uh, 89 Fleer is one of my favorite sets. And I've been buying, I bought a lot of uh, grocery store packs. Uh, you'd see these in the, hanging in the grocery store. Uh, uh, the racks, kind of like similar to the comics. But I got a lot of uh, just random packs. Uh, 89 baseball, 89, uh, 87 baseball. This one I'm, I'm going to have graded. This is a uh, 79 Tops wax pack of hockey. They're hockey cards. I bought this in probably 1991. I was at, back in the day, you used to have card shops, a lot of uh, hobby shops. Oh, they were just everywhere because every, uh, it was the end, it was kind of the end of the junk wax era and uh, hobby stores were just everywhere. Everybody was in the business. Everybody was trying to make a fortune on it. Anyway, but I went someplace, I think in Houston, and they had a box of these uh, 79, 79, 80 season uh, Topps hockey. And of course, uh, Wayne Gretzky rookie card is in that set. So theoretically, it's possible to get the Gretzky. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I saw it and I bought it. I think I want to say I paid about 15 bucks for the pack back in the day. Uh, again, it's 30 years ago. Um, I was 20, man, 23, I think. And I was still buying cards and very interested in that. Anyway, uh, but I've been on. Uh, on eBay, I was just looking at the prices. They're going for like two and three thousand dollars now for one pack, one graded pack like this, and lower uh, because uh, lower for packs that aren't graded. Because if a pack isn't graded and you're trying to sell it, there's a good chance it's been tampered with, it's been searched, it's been uh, fooled with. People will open the packs, go through it, open the packs very carefully, go through them and uh, take the cards I want out, put common cards in, wrap it back up very carefully, and and they, you know, they fool people. So that's why you have card packs graded to, because supposedly they're, they're verified by their graders that the, the packs have not been tampered with, they have not been opened and fooled with. I don't care about the grade, I just wanna, wanna have that peace of mind. So I'm gonna do that with this one. Um, it's a little expensive to get it done, but with this pack, I have a couple other packs that are 70-something uh, basketball. I want to get that done as well. 
So, uh, anyway, that's the plan. But I've just been really into it lately. Uh, that's just the point of this video because I, I've seen... And it's not a price thing. It's, I mean, it is. But it's not a... That's not why I do it. I'm not buying stuff so I can try and make money. That's not, not the point. I try and get things that hopefully will increase in value but that I like. Um, and a lot of packs from the 80s especially football i think football and uh hockey are the way to go well basketball of course um because the only late 80s basketball was the fleer stuff 86 87 88 into 89 i think fleer was the only manufacturer of basketball cards um so anything 80s basketball packs or uh you know, graded packs are just a tremendous value, hundreds of dollars for a pack. Um, in the early, of course, the you go down to 86, forget about it. You know, that's like two or three thousand dollars for a pack. Uh, and again, you'd want it, you'd want it, uh, uh, graded in a, in a slab. That's what they call the, the, the casing. Um, because you want to verify that it hadn't been tampered with. So, but those are high dollar. I really think the way to go now, the affordable way to go now is the, uh, mid to late eighties, like 84 through 89, uh, football packs, I think are the way to go. Um, I have some, but I've been, uh, hang on, hang on. Here we go, yeah. So I've been buying uh, some packs online lately of football stuff. But uh, like this, this is a 1988 uh, Topps football pack. Um, and I don't, at this point, I don't know where I got any of these things. Some I bought at the time, some I bought on eBay lately or the last few years. Anyway, but I think this is the way to go with uh, unopened packs. It's an affordable way to go. You can get several of them for not a lot of money, a few bucks. Some of the better ones with the, like this one has Joe Montana showing on top. And uh, I don't know what I paid for it, but, um, but that, that makes them a little more appealing. Anyway, my point is, I think uh, Tops and, was it Fleer or Donruss that had, uh, it's Fleer, I think, let me double check. Yeah, Fleer. They had uh, they had football cards in the '80s as well, along with Topps. So I think those two brands are the way to go, unopened pack wise. Anyway, I'm looking at the time. It's been 13 minutes, and I'm babbling. Uh, but that's kind of my uh, graded card, and I've sent a whole bunch of stuff off to be graded lately. And I'm just waiting. I'm gonna wait. It's gonna take months for it to get back, but uh, that's okay. And then uh, I also have comic books that I've got sent out to be graded. One of them's coming back now, uh, and I'm going to make a video opening that. That's going to be really exciting. That's one of my better comic books. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. If you stuck with it, I appreciate it. And uh, that's kind of where I am. I'm at in, my, in the collecting world right now. But I really think 80s football is, is the way to go right now, and it's still affordable. Uh, my guess is in the next 10 years, it's kind of not skyrocket, but it, the prices will keep going up. So anyway, those are my thoughts on that. So thanks for watching. Everybody take care. Have a good day.